2020 has been filled of lots of negativity. Lots of terrible things have been going on and it just hasn't been a good year for anybody. And gaming especially took a hit because of the virus itself. And thanks to that we really didn't get too many big releases from any game company and Nintendo included. But we just released a brand new title for the year being Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And with that release there is nothing else to really look forward to for the big end except for Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury in February of 2021, which is once again another port for the most part. So, what else is up Nintendo's sleeves? Well, it's been a while since we even had a rumor or a leak of anything since the Mario 3D remasters, which initially came true. But today we have an onslaught of games that could potentially have been leaked by leakers about what could be coming in 2021 and beyond. We have a list of tons of potential games that could be coming in 2021 so like always please take all of these games with a grain of salt none of this is confirmed and this comes from a leaker that has an iffy track record but has been really reliable as of this year so we have to really take once again all this with a grain of salt none of this is confirmed but is being pointed at and i'll also mention the games that are also being pointed at by other leakers and kind of backed up as well now, who are these leaks coming in by first? Well, they're coming in from Marco Mero on Twitter, and I'm sure lots of you kind of remember that name and remember him. Well, he's leaked the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game in the past with the remake and also the Link's Awakening remake, and he's leaked pretty much everything this year with the Paper Mario game, uh, the Mario 3D remasters, and also notified every single Nintendo Direct partner showcase before it actually happened. And he kind of always got us prepared before these things, and it was always, you know, good to at least know that these things were coming before we just got blindsided with news that we didn't care about uh, so he's been kind of all over it this year and he comes in with more information regarding what's coming up for next year we start off with Bayonetta 3 which is planned to release in the second half of 2021 now that's really all we know about the game that's all he kind of mentions but just you know we have kind of expected that to happen it's been a while since the actual announcement and we know that it probably got pushed back a while because the developers haven't been talking about it too much i don't know a lot about bayonetta but yeah bayonetta 3 second half of 2021 looks like right now now this next one is pretty interesting and it states that a new pikmin game should be shown in 2021 so, probably not releasing in 2021 again, once again coming out in 2022, but there's a, you know, following trend that happens with these leaks, and just pay attention and you'll probably pick up on it too, but Pikmin, whatever this next big Pikmin game is, is going to be coming around 2022, which we just got Pikmin 3 Deluxe, uh, just, what, last month, so this is very interesting, I know a lot of people were kind of upset it wasn't the next Pikmin, since we've had Pikmin 3 for almost 7 years, it was just kind of like we've been waiting for that Pikmin 4 uh, for so long, and yeah, who knows, what this game is going to be, what it's going to be about, is it Pikmin 4, hopefully it's not like another 2D Hey Pikmin style game, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Next, Marco states, Kirby's next big game is promising and looks to be releasing next year. Now, this is one of my earlier predictions because how Labs actually came out and said that whatever Kirby game that they're working on is going to be the pinnacle of the series. It's the most ambitious game they've made yet, and lots of people were led to believe that this is going to be the first ever big 3D Kirby game on a home console, which would be amazing. I know lots of people have been kind of speculating this. They've been kind of, you know, slowly marching towards this game as we've had some of those, you know, 3D blowout blasts and those mini games with the 3D Kirby, um, and also the Kirby Fighters 3D game so they've clearly been slowly implementing Kirby in that 3D space and we knew that this Kirby game was coming I kind of already expected it to be one of the bigger games next year but they're saying it's going to be very ambitious like it's very promising and just everything coming out is just really sounding like this game is going to push Kirby to its limits and I cannot wait to see what that is. Donkey Kong Country 6 is coming I think we could kind of expect this um, we haven't had a game since Tropical Freeze we obviously had the remake of Tropical Freeze once again another hint uh, but but with that said, uh, it's time for another Donkey Kong Country game. I think they should bring back K. Rule. I think they should just, you know, make this... I don't even know how you make it better, because Tropical Freeze is one of my favorite games, I think, of all time, actually. And um, I just don't... I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that they have to do to make this different. I think they just need to take Donkey Kong somewhere completely different. Um, get him away from the islands and stuff. I know it's weird to have Donkey Kong away from the islands, but just do something completely different with the franchise. Um, but with that said, you know, obviously we'll talk more in depth about each of these games individually. But personally, any type of new Donkey Kong game is a huge game for me. And I am super excited about this and ready for this for 2021. A Captain Toad sequel. Now, 
Okay, now I think you can kind of understand what's going on here. It seems like lots of these ports that have come to the Switch from the Wii U or from whatever past console came to the Switch for people to kind of enjoy that first game. And then here is the, you know, sequel or whatever the next game, the next installment is. You know, we've seen that just now. Donkey Kong, you know, Tropical Freeze just hit the Switch. And then here you're going to get Donkey Kong Country 6, apparently. And apparently Pikmin 4 is right around the bend when we just got Pikmin 3. And now Captain Toad, which also got ported to the Switch. Which, Captain Toad sequel. I'm down for all this. You know, this is really exciting. I think Captain Toad was a really good experiment of a game. Um, and, you know, they kind of, you know, need to branch off now into a big, full-fledged $60 game compared to its original 40 You know, instead of those little micro levels, make those bonus levels now and expand the world and just the entire scope of the game. Make the story even more intense. Maybe he has to save Mario, Peach, and just the rest of the Mushroom Kingdom this time instead of taking back some stars from a bird. I think this would be very interesting. I'm really excited to see if the team really expands this game and makes it something completely different and something bigger than what the original game was. A new Wario Land game is apparently in production, and instead, for right now, it looks like they have Wario Land Shake It HD on the table as a potential to be released, which is a weird game to re-release, in my opinion. Wario Land Shake It. I felt like that game should just be left on the Wii and just move on to the next game. It was good, but I don't think it was like good enough to remake, and I don't know how many people would like double dip on that. I I don't know that one's just a very strange one to me it's on the table of course which means it probably won't happen i don't think that's going to happen but i think the next warrior land game is definitely coming i think it's going to be a lot of fun so i'm excited to see what that is but we're gonna have to wait and see what the heck is next for wario and with metroid we've got some stuff coming for one that 2d metroid that i think everybody has been rumoring for a while is coming very soon apparently um and then you have the metroid prime collection uh which is coming but they said that uh they kind of needed like a year out from metroid prime 4 so it probably won't be until 2020 and uh, I get that, you know, you want to give it a, a year away, um, you want to make it that is close to the release so that way you can get people jumping in, playing Metroid Prime. I felt like that would be too late though, I thought maybe halfway through the development of Metroid Prime 4 that people remember, hey, Metroid Prime still exists, here's the games, because it's going to take a lot of people a lot of time to get through all three of those games if they want to complete them 100% and stuff. But Metroid Prime Collection, it's still coming, we're just going to have to wait a while. And Metroid Prime 4 is slated apparently right now planning for 2022. I think that's about right. I still don't know if that's going to hit the mark on time. I, I can definitely see it going further than that just because of just the restart and just how many people are in development right now. And just I can see this being a game taking many, many more years uh, to complete because it's going to be very ambitious. And I can't wait to see what they come up with. But Metroid's going to have some stuff coming up soon to you know satisfy that thirst for lots of Metroid fans. And I've also heard that this 2D Metroid is actually going to follow the events of Metroid Fusion, which is my favorite 2D Metroid game. So I can't wait to see exactly how that works. There's also a WarioWare game, apparently very close to completion and could get announced any day now uh, for 2021. Obviously, this is going to be a lot of fun for like party games and like for people to come together and play some more aware micro games i hope it's micro games for god's sake please don't be like game and wario or something like that and let it be new games. Don't let it be a collection of games we've already played like WarioWare Gold. I'm ready for a new WarioWare micro game collection, which would be just so much fun to have on the Switch. I think the Switch is kind of built for it with the Joy-Con just like the Wii was. And there's just so much potential with the Rumble and just the different things that the Joy-Con could do. This really should have been what 1-2-Switch was, um, and instead we got 1-2-Switch. But you know what? It's finally time for WarioWare. Bring in some WarioWare to start off the year next year. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And don't worry, we're still not done. We have Fire Emblem Remake coming. I don't know if this is like the first game, one of the you know first couple of games, um, but there's some type of remake coming. And they said this is why they kind of teased it with that re-release of the very first Fire Emblem, um, that something else is coming soon. And with that, you also have Paper Mario 64 Remake coming to the Switch, which actually this was rumored a long time ago by a lot of people, and Marco Mero is confirming that this is definitely a thing that's still happening, Paper Mario 64 is happening. This is the best way to kind of re, you know, invent the franchise in a good way. You know, kind of go back and see what made Paper Mario so good. Because clearly just continuing to move forward is not going to kind of, you know, appease people. Uh, people are kind of upset still about the game. So I think you need to take a step back, take a couple steps back, go back to what made the game, you know, so good in the first place. And what's interesting about this is I've had a couple of comments actually, you know, asking me if I ever think Paper Mario 64 is going to happen. And I actually, you know, was talking about this on my last podcast. So I definitely think... 
that would be amazing. And there's already been people out there, you know, remaking the game and putting it in their own engine. So I can't wait to see what Nintendo's spin on this is going to look like. So we obviously have the new Pokemon Snap next year, but apparently Pokemon presentation at the very beginning of next year. This was going to kind of start things off, and I know people are going to be upset again, because this is kind of what happened that this year. We never got that Nintendo Direct. Instead, it was like Pokemon, and then a, you know, Partner Direct Mini Showcase, and then no regular Direct. But it looks like Pokemon presentation is going to happen. And yes, they are confirming that Gen 4 Remakes is going to happen. I know lots of you guys have been waiting on that. You know, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan myself, so I know um, at the same time how important this is and just how big that people really wanted this, but it's happening. I've seen actually multiple sources come in and confirm this, and it just continues to you know, get credibility. Even Kilios, another leaker on Twitter, has also brought this up and mentioned that it is coming. And then, you know, we also have a rumor for a um, Let's Go sequel, which might just be the next generation of Pokemon, and just continuing on with that. And, you know, I think lots of people would, you know, find that to be cool. You know, nothing too crazy, um, but I think people would like that. And finally, let's end on some Zelda news. So apparently Breath of the Wild 2 is going to come alongside the brand new Switch Pro, which I think it's pretty much all but confirmed at this point. Um, the Switch Pro is coming. I just don't know when. And obviously, Nintendo's been pushing stuff around and pushing stuff back. So that's why none of these release dates, like, it's hard to say when any of these games are actually going to come out. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see because, you know, COVID and everything could push this back. But Breath of the Wild 2, according to Marco Mero, could approach in April. Now, he also states that this could very well be pushed back or already pushed back because of the virus. But, you know, a heavily, heavily reliable source, Emily Rogers, has stated that she doesn't really expect Breath of the Wild to come until the holiday season, which is what I was saying from the very beginning. So, Breath of the Wild 2, all we know is it's coming out next year. We know it's probably coming with the brand new Switch Pro, but it's coming next year. So I think, you know, regardless, we could be excited about that. Other Zelda games are coming, including Wii U ports, which we kind of already expected because, you know, next year is Zelda's 35th anniversary, and I'm sure they're going to do a celebration like they did with Mario this year and probably have a three-pack of games or just a whole onslaught of past Zelda games coming to the Switch. Now, with all of that said, there's still more Zelda news for the year of 2022. Already we know that the Zelda team seems to be working on Oracle Remakes, which is the Oracle Seasons and Oracle of Ages. And Marco Mero actually called the Link's Awakening remake years ago before it even happened, so I straight up believe this one. And I think it might even be the same engine as Link's Awakening, which would be really cool. And then you get two games in one. Like, that's just awesome. And there's, it's really hard to kind of play those games nowadays. I mean, I guess you could download it on the, your Wii U or your 3DS. I get that, um, but I, I just think it'd be really cool, and it would definitely benefit from remakes, because those are the only two Zelda games that I've never finished, and I think it'd be really cool just to have them again, and just, you know, so I can go back and play them, but I'm super excited uh, for Zelda, you know, in particularly, because it's going to be a blowout of Zelda games next year, that's for sure. And that's really about it. There's a couple other like smaller titles, such as a possible Camelot game, which is going to be another Mario Sports title, um, and other stuff. I'm sure is you know going to be announced. Like no one really saw Age of Calamity pop up, but everybody else leaked everything else that came this year, including Paper Mario, Pikmin, and the Mario 3D Remaster. So. Yeah, it looks like we're getting maybe our first look at what's to come in 2021, potentially, and our first outlook as to potential to how big the year is going to be. Between 2021 and 2022, it looks like Nintendo's really going to pick back up their pace and get going again with some big drops of some big titles. And I cannot wait to see if any of this or if all of this is going to be true. But what do you guys think? Is this too good to be true? Um, is this even worth trusting? Well, I think most of this is. Now, the dates may not match up with a lot of these and, you know, kind of the release window, but I do think these games are coming, and I can't wait to see, you know, how big these games are going to change up from either their originals, if they're sequels, or just big, you know, brand new games for the series, like the big brand new, apparently, 3D Kirby game that we could get. But I'm super excited. All the links are down below if you guys want to check out these tweets yourself and read all the, you know, information regarding each game and stuff that Marco Mero has posted. But I'm very excited, and I can't wait to see what happens. Happens, and I'm sure we'll be getting some games announced soon. There was also some game listings dropped on GameStop's website recently, so you know, clearly there's about to be some announcements, whether it's a Nintendo Direct or the more likely option, the Game Awards. So the Game Awards is probably going to show us something and get us excited for whatever is coming next year, and probably another Smash Ultimate character. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, and like always, I will see you on the next one. See you guys.